start start on an examination of the pleadings of two writ petitions we find that the issues for consideration were all different in the petitions in the first petition relief was sought under the contract labor act 1970 for abolition of contract labor system in the operation of canteen in the marketing establishment of ioc and for absorbing the canteen workers as employees of ioc in the second petition relief was sought under the industrial disputes act 1947 for making a reference under section 101 to the industrial tribunal to decide whether the contract between ioc and the canteen contractor was sham nominal and a mere camouflage to avoid extension of labor law benefits to the workers in question and whether the canteen workers were the direct employees of ioc para the assumption that the appellant had taken inconsistent stands in the two writ petitions is not correct even in the first writ petition the appellant had contended that though the contractors changed from time to time the workers in the canteen remained the same with continuity of service that ioc had malified and illegally kept the workers as contract labor in order to keep them in a permanent state of insecurity and to deny them the wages and privileges available to permanent workers that ioc was actually controlling and supervising the canteen and that only as a camouflage the contractor was shown as running the canteen to create a pretense that the workmen of ioc were the workers of the contractor when it when in fact they were the employees of ioc in short the appellant had contended that the contract was sham and nominal in the first petition even in the second writ petition the contention was that the contract was sham and a camouflage to avoid extending benefits of regular employees to the canteen workers therefore the high court committed a serious error in assuming that in the first writ petition the appellant had conceded that the contract between the ioc and the canteen contractor was valid and genuine and that in the second writ petition the appellant had taken a contrary stand that the contract was sham and a camouflage para the stand of the appellant and the worker was always consistent but before the decision of a constitution bench of this court in steel authority of india limited versus national union water front workers 2001 7 scc 1 it was thought that the appropriate relief available was to seek an investigation and abolition of contract labor and consequently seek absorption 
देयर फोर द प्रेयर वॉज मेड इन द फर्स्ट पटिशन दिस कोर्ट हेल्ड दैट इवन इफ इफ देयर वॉज एन ऑर्डर अंडर सेक्शन टेन ऑफ द एक्ट प्रोहिबिटिंग कॉन्ट्रैक्ट लेबर इन एनी प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑपरेशन देयर वुड बी नो ऑटोमैटिक एब्जॉर्बशन ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट लेबर बाय द प्रिंसिपल इम्प्लॉयर इट वॉज ऑल्सो हेल्ड दैट इट वॉज ऑलवेज ओपन टू द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट लेबर टू अर्ज दैट द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वॉज शॉम एंड नॉमिनल बाय रेजिंग एन इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट एंड सच डिस्प्यूट विल हैव टू बी डिसाइडेड बाय द इंडस्ट्रियल एडजुडिकेटर एंड नॉट बाय द हाई कोर्ट स्टॉप स्टॉट